Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle Ferris, and welcome back to X4 Foundations in the Kingdom's End DLC, where we are sitting in a station, uh, a wharf, uh, next to two of our um, Prometheuses, I think, I think that's what they're called. Uh, anyway, uh, these ships are, um, they're set up with mods, so... Uh, it's it's something that I want to get off them because I can't select what type of uh, equipment that they have Hydra. if they've got mods on them. Uh, so I I am going to get rid of the mods on these ships, uh, and uh, and then we will have more luck with uh, with doing whatever we want to do with them. Plus. I'll be able to take the expensive engines off them and replace them with cheap ones. Uh, because I've just had one of my Prometheus is blown up by a pirate. Uh, and the substantial um, loss of cash from that process is uh, ri quite ridiculous. So I don't really want to find that my, uh, my Prometheus is uh, losing expensive engines and such like when I can get those expensive engines off the Prometheuses and stick something else on. Uh, so yes, that's what we're doing. We're, we're, we're removing expensive uh, modifications and stuff to place other things on. What's this? This has got Prometheus's chassis has already got a, a thing for zero, for reducing um, radar stuff, so that's interesting. Uh, dismantle that. Dismantle that. None of that. Whatever it is, I don't care. We're removing them all. There will be no mods on here. Okay, so this one's got um, three flat cannons. That's pretty good. That's not bad at all. That's exactly the sort of thing we want on these things. Let's take that shield modification off. Pa! Uh, no engine modifications, please. Oh, hello. We could make it colourful if we wanted to. But I'm not going to. So, let's not. Okay, this is all all good by the looks of it. This one is ready yeah, now. Excellent. Okay, so we can close that. Uh, and hello, what are you doing here? Get out of me way. Anyway, uh, I think that was the first one, wasn't it? So let's try the second one now. And remove that modification. Now oh, this one has no guns. Interesting. I didn't know I hadn't given it guns. Uh, these don't have modifications on them at all. That's good. We can take the modification off the shield. Uh, get off there, honestly. Making me use whatever shield they want. Uh, and then that as well to remove the engines and modifications. Brilliant. Now, can I take some of those mods and put them on another thing? I don't know. So let's see if we can actually... No, we don't. We need research for uh, for any any modifications. Research is necessary, so uh, you can't just nick the mods off something and stick them straight on something else. Apparently, because it won't let me. Uh, not that I have the cash to do that anyway. Right, so those now are um, capable of uh, dealing with this wharf, which is great. What's that? Is that the ship? No, that's not the ship that I was looking at. No, look, this is another ship being made in the in the wharf. Great stuff. All right, we could do with something like that. Something that has a um, a small ship space on the top because because uh, then uh, what's this is this another one of mine I do wonder because I'm sure I sent another ship over here what's that is that one of ours I think it might be you know it is that's the Minotaur Sentinel anyway let's uh, get this Prometheus dealing with this wharf and then I can get some cash back from it uh, this has a, 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 a second travel drive. Let's reduce that. It doesn't need the 400,000 uh, combat engine. Forget that. It's got the most expensive shields. Oh, it doesn't really make much difference which shields you get on this one. Nope, nope. Doesn't make much difference at all. Okay, fine. In that case, we'll leave the shields on that uh, that it has on. No, no, we'll change them to that one. That's okay. Right. Now, what sort of guns does it want? I would think that these shard guns would be great because shard guns. So, yes, uh, and flat cannons all the way. Brilliant. That's that's fine. Uh, and it's got full complement of crew. That should be good. That'll give us seven hundred and twenty thousand uh, in credits. Just 
handed back to us. Brilliant. Watching uh, my uh, cash flow go up is always something I appreciate. Uh, now, let's do the same thing with the other ship. Uh, that one had level 3 combat engines. Wow, it does not need level 3 combat engines. Mainly because it's hopefully going to stay out of combat. Hopefully. Uh, this one's going to give us 800,000 straight away for uh, for not having the best of things. Right, good. But, but, then I'm going to go and stick some shard cannons on it. So, uh, you know, those are going to eat heavily into our profits. Ah, that's a pity. Okay, but we're going to get the uh, the plasma cannons off and change to flak. Very good. Uh, and that, that's oh, that's also going to eat into our profits. Boo! Look at that. Our profits have gone down massively. We're only getting 167 thousand off this one. Ah, that is most unfortunate. Okay, I guess I could reduce these uh, these things to uh, to lesser things. I'm not going to be driving it, so you know it doesn't really need all of those. Mm. It doesn't get as much. It doesn't get as much at all. Okay, and it's got full complement of, uh, of, of folks. So, uh, that will be fine. Uh, and now, that lesser ship can go out and we'll, we'll be, we'll be alright with that. So it should be, it should be fine. How about this one? Is this one covered in, uh, is this one covered in, um, modifications as well? Let's have a look. It's not got the best of stuffs on it at all. Ah, trust the, uh, the, um, Pilots of the the buccaneers for this one, uh, they've not uh, they've not put anything interesting on it. Oh, it's got shard cannons though. Awesome. Okay, so it's got two shard cannons. That's great. Uh, beams all the way. I might change those for um, flak because uh, flak is just more effective. So yes, there we go. That's gonna. This one's gonna cost us money. Pa. Okay, uh, let's reduce those a little bit. They don't have to be the best. What was that noise? What was that noise for? I must have sold something, I don't know. Uh, right, this is all done. So, wh wh why wouldn't it confirm this? Oh, I know, because I have added it to the thing. Okay, so that's costing us 18,000, but it's now a functional device. So that's infinitely better than a not functional device. Great stuff. Uh, so all of these are now going to be a little bit better, hopefully, and we've got a tiny bit more cash uh, from, from what we had, and hopefully they can actually be used now, uh, as opposed to being uh, totally useless. I have got a bunch of um, ships over here. I was wanting to try and take some ships in this area, because, of course, it's an unowned area, or unowned, right? Uh, but I tried to take a ship in this area, and it still lost me rep. Uh, so I was like, "What? This is an unowned area. Why are the? I wasn't. I wasn't even in the main area. I was like way out across um, the uh, the border a bit. Uh, because if you go, out, as you can see, I've gone this way. If you go out of the bounds, then it increases the size of the sector, and you can get more um, stuff just out over there. Usually, just random trading ships. Uh, well, mostly mining ships, actually." Uh, so I was trying to get a miner, uh, but uh, unfortunately I could not get my mining ship because it just didn't let me. I did, however, buy myself a new ship from the um, from the Paranid, uh, a Perseus Vanguard. Now the Perseus Vanguard. If we go over to the Paranid, I have we... finished the teleportation research. Oh, lovely! I am yet to test it on a life form. How did you do that? I am monitoring your life signs anyway. Perhaps you could do the honors. Yeah, wait a minute. I'm going to set the next one. There we go. If you could, Grab that stuff, would you? You say that, you're, you're going to get them. <laughs> okay. Uh, last time, he, he I, I was doing the teleportation research. And what I'd done is it needed energy cells and advanced uh, electronics. So I got the advanced electronics because he wasn't doing it. Uh, and he got the... Uh, the um, it was 1,000 energy cells, and uh, this time they need 5,000 energy cells. So I suspect that they're going to get got. I suspect that these advanced uh, electronics are not going to get got. So I will have to set a ship to do that. And now we've we've helpfully um, set up these ships over here. Fabulously magnificent development. 
The provinces adrift finally have a fully functioning shipyard. Whoa. Everything seems to be completing all at once. That's interesting. Right, they do have a, 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 a functioning shipyard. They didn't really thank me for that, despite the fact I did send loads of materials over there. They didn't seem to count them. Um, I I sent I did send uh, loads of these uh, the, those Prometheuses over there with uh, uh, with with hull parts, and there was a counter of the hull parts uh, that I'd sent, and it just stayed at zero. It's like you have delivered zero hull parts, despite the fact I I I saw it get delivered, uh, and uh, and they just seem to have ignored it entirely. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that, but they did ignore it entirely. Anyway, we need more of the... What do we need? <laughs> I'm going to have to go back to the research again, aren't I? Yes, uh, we need advanced electronics. Advanced electronics. Okay, and antimatter converters. Is that antimatter converters? I think it's antimatter converters. Energy cells, they will appear. It will just get got because the, en the energy cells are not difficult to get. So yeah, they, they will just uh, they will just turn up. Uh, advanced electronics, right? Advanced electronics. Electronics. That one. Ah. Right. Is that is that anywhere? Have I spelled it wrong? How could I have spelled it wrong? It looks right. Uh, uh, let's check the, uh, the the thing. Uh, electro, electro. It only do, does that. Hmm. Okay. Well, that seems right, doesn't it? Elect. Oh, I missed the R. Oh. Advanced electronics. There. Brilliant. Uh, so we want them from over here. Oh, there's only 73 over there. That's most inconvenient. We need more. Far more. Or any. Just some would be nice. Uh, how many have these got? These have 73. Is that taking us to the same place that we were before? Is that what that's doing? Ugh. Okay, how many of these got? 130 something. Okay, so if we take this one. You. You. Go here and buy the advanced electronics. I didn't know you could do this. Just go into the thing and just click on that rather than finding the station. It's so incredibly helpful being able to do that. Obviously this ship's going a long way, but we've set it up good and proper now, so it should be fine for doing that. Uh, and then it can go over here and deliver those advanced electronics. So. Let's get it, those advanced electronics. Which one's the thing? Uh, that one's the headquarters. There we go. I just shove loads of advanced electronics on it because uh, because then it'll uh, they'll, they'll be nice and full. So that confirms that one. Now, the other thing that they wanted was... Uh, Antimatter Conver... Conver. I'm guessing that's converters. I can't really be certain, but um, we're guessing so... With the guess, uh, we'll go, yeah. It wasn't cells. It was definitely con something. So, antimatter converters. Hopefully. Yes, brilliant. Okay. Uh, so, they are... Ooh, there's loads over there somewhere. So, let's just select the next Prometheus and tell it to go over there. And get a shed load of antimatter converters, which is probably going to cost us a fortune. 400. I don't know how many we want, but we're getting this many. Because I never really bother reading what they asked me to get, so that's that's fine. Oh, they wanted 300, so 400 is fine. The likelihood is that the next version of teleportation will also be asking for the same thing. Uh, just a bit more. So I think that that will be all right. Brilliant. So we have two of our Prometheuses doing that. And one of our Prometheuses is in Her Heretic's End. Why is it over there and not at the other station? Has it got modifications? Is the next question. Um, uh, how do you find out? Over here? Yes. Ah, oh, rats. It has got modifications. What are you doing with all those mods on you? 
Uh, right, so I'm going to send that to Argon Prime, which is where we are currently. Uh, and I can uh, I can then remove its mods. Heh, <laughs> most irritating ship. Okay, you get over there. Yeah, I can't change its engines. And look at that, it's got a, it's got a Mark IV um, combat engine. Heh, <laughs> a Mark IV combat engine that it desperately doesn't need. Uh, and obviously will lose loads of cash if somebody decides to blow it up. So, yeah. We can go over there, and that'll be fine. I have set the overall um, functions of the uh, ships in the universe to run away from um, dangers now. Uh, so hopefully they, they won't run straight to them giddily like they did last time and get themselves shot to pieces. And I can't believe it got itself shot to pieces anyway, because it should have been fine. Well, I say that. I had taken all of its uh, interesting things off it, because uh, it didn't want it to have interesting things. But now they've all got shard cannons, so that's different. Anyhow, I was telling you about the new ship that I had bought, uh, which was over here. I bought a... Um, I just set it up like, uh, like I was going to buy another one, which I'm not. But, uh, you know, this is what we're doing. Uh, was it a... Perseus Vanguard? I think it was Perseus Vanguard. Yes, the one with two guns. I want. I wanted the one with two guns. There isn't one with four guns, but that's like the main fighter, and uh, that's like really... Um... That's got three. Huh. No, there's another one with four guns somewhere. Maybe you can't buy it here? I don't know. Anyway, this one's got three. This is not the one that I've bought. I bought one of these, and I gave it... Burst Rays Mark II. Uh, two Burst Rays Mark II, so it's going to be like this. Uh, and I'm hoping that the two Burst, burst Rays Mark II will be able to help us to actually take bigger ships. Because I want to try and take a big ship, but I want to try and take a big ship that uh, I can use. Uh, and I don't really want, don't really know where to take a big ship that I can get that I suppose I could go into hmm SCA territory might be a good place to steal a ship from eh. or alternatively just an SCA ship if I can grab one that would be wonderful so actually we might go over into SCA territory and try to grab a ship and maybe a good idea I've not really investigated windfall and the other pirates yet I need to get over there and start searching this territory. I need to find Grand Exchange as well. Because we had the HQ in Grand Exchange previously, I've always just, you know, I know where Grand Exchange is because I've, I've, I've been there and it's no problem. And there's a, there's a, our, our station was there. Hello, Phoenix. You're looking very much like a target. Brilliant. Okay, we have our target already. Wonderful. Um, So we need to get our... um. What is it? Uh, Prometheus. Over there. Yes. Uh, I haven't got a ship that I can stick it on the back of yet. Which is really unfortunate. Uh, maybe I can just... Oh, no. Something's firing at it. Ah, oh, rubbish. Ah. Well, we need to find some big ship anyway to uh, to take over. I really need a, a, a cargo ship or something like that. I don't need something like that, really. Uh, so, yeah, well, that's what we're doing. I did um, refurbish the Hydra. Uh, the, ref the, the Hydra, I wasn't too pleased with the weapons as they were. There's those two big things which fire out massive balls at stuff. Uh, and I wasn't too pleased with them. Uh, and then it, it's, it just doesn't seem to do much damage in comparison to the um, to our uh, katana, which is now down here, by the way. Oh, no, it's not just over here. Okay. Uh, I put it over here because I thought once I'd done the teleportation technology, I could get this getting more katana down here, which is definitely something that I want to do. Where I want a fleet of katana. Uh, when I've got a fleet of katana, then I will feel like I have some ships, as opposed to having a few ships which aren't particularly brilliant like all of these uh, Minotaur Raiders they're just sort of um, sat there as I said full of um, full of marines ready for the attack but if we had a bigger ship then I would be able to like one of these for instance for example mm, that would have been good uh, if we had bigger ships then we would be able to send those out to um, to with full of uh, a complement of marines, 
and grab a ship with that. I did have my eyes on uh, a... Uh, on Where is it? Is it in the void? Might be in the void. Yeah, it is in the void. I, hit, I had my eyes on a um, Asgard that was sitting over here. Uh, that would have been great. That would have been really great. Uh, but unfortunately, it slipped through our fingers. There's another sector down here. This, this, there's um, Xenon space this way. So there's there's a number of places that I want to open up on the map, like down here for the Xenon space, and obviously Grand Exchange over here somewhere. I think I go through this sector here and and go in that way. So let's get back into our ship. Uh, and then we can head in that direction. So control D uh, and pick the right ship. I don't want to be in one of those um, Prometheuses. Not at the moment, not until I've got some modifications. When I can actually mod my my own ships in a way that's useful rather than the modifications that I've got, which are most definitely not. Uh, well, they, they weren't and then I strip them off the ship so they're not they're really not now uh yeah and i need to what was why why did i get up again don't do that get back in the chair quick before that boron tries to steal your seat great uh so we will go and we will find more things mostly grand exchange that's what i want oh hello game you're going to save right at this moment are you that's nice of you thanks all right uh, obviously, more missions would be a useful thing to do, uh, but uh, yeah, I need to open up the map because the map is a little bit tinyly restricted. Also, an another reason to go for the katana is I need more advanced satellites because I've used up all of my satellites. Uh, so I need a I need advanced satellites, and the advanced satellites will um, obviously enable us to open up the map even more. What's all this going on here? Okay, that's security. Oh, they might have scanned my ship and found it absolutely covered in uh, illegal wares because that is exactly what it is. It is covered in illegal wares. Yeah, they do like to do that. I'm surprised that they did it whilst I was in the uh, in the um, wharf. Huh. Okay. What else is around? Is there anything interesting around here? You can take um, HOP ships from Argon Space, because it's Argon Space. There's an inactive jump gate over there. Huh. I wonder if that's going to open with the ball and stuff. Anyway, so we've obviously got the uh, the shipyard done. We've got the first level of teleportation done. The second level of teleportation is well underway. Uh, and uh, and we've uh, moved all of the mods off that thing. We're getting towards doing the uh, the uh, the opening of the universe. And that is the next thing I will do. Uh, and I will have to see you in the next episode because I'm all out of time. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.